Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Alright, I think this is better. Alright, there we go. Now the mic is more or less right in front of my face. Alright. So, welcome back. Finally done with a lot of the bigger changes for uh, the face tracking stuff, so we can go back to working on more fun stuff like uh, my game dev stuff. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, just making sure. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm never really sure how my setup how my setup sounds. I think it's okay. It's kind of hard to tell since I didn't take off both of my earbuds. I like <laughs> I kept one in, so I'm getting super flooded my listening to myself. But yeah, we're gonna be working on this, which is a WarioWare style game mixed with gambling. So do some fun stuff. You can earn some coins. <laughs> you just use the same transition for everything. And there's no timer right now, but that's not too hard to add. So you earn coins. Amazing. Wow. What a phenomenal idea. Then you have your statistics, coins, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. You have your gacha machine. You can spin it. And then boom. There's your item. So yeah, let's move on to working on actual mini games besides just like click on thing. <laughs> click on thing is pretty fun though, not gonna lie. It is very satisfying. All right, floppy disk, floppy character, and then just pipes. So you have your character. I think I've, from what I remember, and this is a while ago. This is actually extremely over-engineered. So... Let's open it up. So let's see, your character only needs to go up and down. They actually don't need to go left or right. Yeah. So you can see here, I actually built in just like a speed. But you don't need speed. There's absolutely no reason for your character to go left or right. They just need to go up and down, and then the pipes come towards them. Uh, and I think primary action is left click, I think. Yeah, device zero, left button. You know what, let's just... Uh, well, you know what? We don't need a primary. We don't need a secondary action. We only need a primary action. So current velocity, then we slurp it. All right. Seems good. Let's close everything. We don't need so much stuff. So floppy disk. Mm, generate pipes. Let me see. So this is this game, right? So, unfortunately, with how I've s decided to set up the screen, it actually makes it somewhat hard to, uh, to test. Actually, does it? I think this should just work, right? We won't have the fancy... Yeah, okay. Nothing happens because we're currently running into a million errors. The start via vector 2 must be normalized. Oh. Because we're trying to slurp it. So we don't want to slurp it. What we want to do is lurp it. So current velocity is equal to alert. Wait, hold on. So vector two. Linear interpolate. Okay, so we just want a linear interpolate. We don't 
That's weird, isn't it? So they actually spell out linear interpolate there, but they also just have like a regular lerp function. Linear interpolate. So we can give this a test. All right, <laughs> seems good. Non-existent function change screen. Okay. Makes sense. Because uh, it broke, because it tried to change to uh, another screen. But that, that function only exists in main display. So we start at zero, input velocity, blah, blah, blah. Multiply by delta. Hmm. Maybe it just needs to be a bit faster. Okay. See, that's actually something I've never really understood, uh, is how to use delta properly. No, we could just do delta times 10 instead of having to do it like that. Oh. Amazing. Delta times 100. So we just scale it up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Stop pressing the wrong buttons. Phenomenal. Okay, so when you jump, it should apply jump for some amount. Wait a minute. We should do this instead, right? So take this out and just put this into an if statement. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, does this make any difference whatsoever? Because we always want to multiply it by the input velocity, anyways. But then. We only want to linear interpolate if we, uh, yeah, we only want to linear interpolate if we, uh, if we're affected by gravity. Okay, okay. Wait, no we don't. <laughs> Wait, yes we do, because we're doing a move and slide. Okay. Bring me back. So if we're affected by gravity, do this. Grab this. Something like that, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, turns out I'm not smart enough to make Flappy Bird. Hmm. Linear interpolate. Hold on. Wait, no, this logic is backwards. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why it's not working. It's because this, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, we want to zero out your input velocity, right? So vector two is zero. And then, mm -hmm, input velocity, jump. And then, 
normalize for the delta and then linear interpolate towards gravity if necessary. And then just ignore <laughs> current velocity entirely. Cause I, I, isn't that how, that's more or less how Flappy Bird work, works, right? So out of it, man. I wrote the face tracker and everything, but trying to implement Flappy Bird, no, that's too much. I suppose I am also distracted by the fact that I did just install a new thermostat. I installed a nest to my, my new place. And I'm trying to pay attention to how much it's cooling just to make sure it doesn't break anything. So input velocity. Well. Hmm. Yeah, what if we just do, just make this really easy, right? So don't even interpolate this, just interpolate down. Don't even use input velocity here, just use the current velocity, like that. Otherwise, we want to do current velocity dot y is equal to... We want to lerp current velocity dot y to gravity at this weight. And I just also just don't use that at all. <laughs> Something like that. Well, no, because we do want to... Well... Jump. Let me see. Yeah, that's more or less correct, right? It's kind of what you expect from Flappy Bird. Yeah, okay. And then we do want to normalize for <laughs> normalize delta at some point. If we do times equals delta times 100. So what does that give me? That'll give me something that's really, really slow, right? Oh, that, that's Flappy Bird. <laughs> that's Flappy Bird. He's done it. He's accidentally just figured it out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that feels like Flappy Bird right there. Yeah. So we, we can tune it a little bit more. So there's another one of our games. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, more or less, right? <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. So what was I doing with pipe? So we should have maybe four pipes queued up, maybe six pipes queued up all at once. And I think I have pipes. Yeah, these are the pipes, legally distinct pipes. Uh, yeah. Seems fine. Also, we might as well do this hammer in the nail. And that's this is uh, 
floppy disk. Get it? Because it's floppy, flappy bird, but not. Aha. I want to say it's a pun, but I'm not sure that it is. Do Flappy Bird like this. Flappy Bird, not Flappy Bird. <laughs> um, do max pipes. So for I in max pipes. So GD script has that shorthand for uh, doing this kind of stuff. So you don't need I in range. Doing this is good enough. Sleepy, I'm sorry. Working with electricity just absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> so we do bar pipe pip pipe is equal to pipe dot instance. Right. And actually, this doesn't need to be own array, we can have just a node2d called pipes, and this thing will keep track of all the necessary stuff for us. Array var pipes, which is a node2d equal to pipes. There we go. We do pipes called deferred add child. Pipe. So pipe is called deferred add child pipe, and then we'll need to just think about our spawn positions. Okay, so where, where do we want to spawn these off screen? So let's do, let's spawn in some position 2Ds. And these will be the X positions, not necessarily the Y positions. Yes. Or actually, wait a minute. We can, we can get somewhat fancy with this, right? So possible type positions. Very descriptive name. Is that thunder? I'm gonna turn on a light. There we go. Much better. <laughs> I was wondering why it was so dark in here. Oh. God, I wish someone would turn on a light. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm the only one who can do that. So this will be. Top, top. Pretty good. Pretty good. So what's that transform? That's like, uh... Well, why do we need a node to do this anyways, right? What am I doing? We can just grab the viewports. So we do... This is uh, viewport size, right? Forget what kind of type it is, but if we do just game, no, yeah, game manager main viewport get size. What is what is what is the 
it's the viewport thing for that. It's, yeah, it's just size. The height and width of the viewport. So size, just like that. Well, and that's just the vector too, right? So we can do viewport height. Y bar viewport width plus game manager main viewport size x right so it's the height and the width and then we'll want to spawn the pipes just outside yeah just outside of the thing and then we look at here this is actually the the thing that we're going to be manipulating. And also, because of how I set it up, we can just pivot the entire thing like this. So it's really easy. We can just do, you know, it's either 100 degrees, it's either rotated 180 degrees if it's the bottom, or uh, just a zero if, well, no. It's at zero if it's the bottom pipe, and rotated 180 degrees if it's the bottom pipe. Mm -hmm. So that's not so bad. Then we'll do. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the thing I was thinking of? <laughs> so that's our height and our width. And then viewport width plus. Wait, no, we want the half width. because that's the extent. All right, so we do this. Yeah, because the, the height and the width would actually be the full height, but actually, since we're spawning things in from zero, we just want the half width, right? Uh, X, no, this is Y extent, X extent. And why did I reverse that? Because I had height and width, and now, has something more sensibly named, oh baby. So initial spawn position will be x extent plus some amount. So we do pipes, global position dot x is equal to x extent plus a hundred. Well, a hundred times I. <laughs> maybe not a hundred, maybe like, uh, I don't know, like, maybe it's 50. 50 is a good amount, right? And then once they go off screen, we'll just spawn more. Or we'll, we won't spawn more, but we'll teleport them back to just like a predetermined position. I mean, let, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. And then pipes global position y is equal to. Oh wait, I should do these as pairs, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should do these as pairs. Maybe we can do if i modulo 2 is equal to 0, pipes, or no, pipe, not pipes, pipe, dot global position, pipe dot global position, y is equal to y extent, and then minus some random amount. Actually, no, you wouldn't want it to be some random amount, right? <laughs> no, you, you wouldn't want it to be some sort of random amount. 
Okay, so there's a flaw in my implementation plan. Let's do let's do something like this. We can do pipe and then pipe pair, and then we'll we won't actually spawn in pipes directly. We'll just spawn in the pair like that. So this is pipe pair piper pipe pair pipe pair. Go into mini games floppy disk pipe pair and pipe pair is just two pipes. So there's our first pipe, something like this, let's call it 340, that's actually pretty, that's pretty rough, 360, still pretty rough, 400, too easy, 300, <laughs> so this is bottom pipe, and then this will be top pipe, like that. And then we will just invert. So this is negative 380, flip it around, and there we go. There is our pipe pair. Copy path, go back to floppy disk. And so this is now our pipe pair. Pipe pair resource preload. Like that. So now we just want six pipe pairs, easy. Don't have to think about it. this pipe pair mess that up all right there we go and we'll just have them all kind of scroll to the left right yes I wonder if there's a better way to like equally space them out but Whatever. Funk. Physics process. I don't think. Well, we can use delta, right? No, oh, this reminds me I actually have not <laughs> finished this. Pipe pair. Goal position y is equal to the y extent. Um, so if we set it equal to the y extent, that means that it's going to be drawn here. So actually, it should be... Hmm. It should be a value from negative y extent to positive y extent. So we can do... I believe I have access to RNG from here, so... Yeah. Random f range minus y extent to positive y extent. Right, and then we do that for every single pipe, and then for i in pipes, we'll just kind of spawn in more and more pipes. Or we won't spawn in more and more pipes, we'll, we'll scroll them to the left. So for i in pipes, scroll position dot x. Minus equals, I don't know, 10 times delta times 100. What's 10 times 100? 10,000? <laughs> I don't know. What does this look like? Whoa. Invalid get index viewports on base nil. All right, that's, that's fair. Oh, because we're... Debug only. Equals 1600 divided by 2. Bar y extent equals 900 divided by 2. B 
beautiful. Ugh, no, wrong one. Do this one instead. Ugh. Unable to iterate. Oh yeah, pipes is a is a node. So we get children. Oh how sad. Nothing <laughs> nothing pops up. Do they not scroll fast enough? Is that it? Maybe we can have them move at super speed. Maybe not. Uh, did we run into any problems when we were running? We did not. We're going to drink water. It's good for you. at the regular position. Yeah, I didn't think that would make a difference. Just wait until we crash, I, I guess. There we go. So we can take a look. We have the pipes. Pipe pair. Oh, geez. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> That'll do it. Is that their delta is all the way over there. Floppy disk. I don't know, just a hundred then? Oh, that looks cool. Weird how some of them are so far up. All right, so floppy disk. Set up timer for, I don't know, just give me a hundred seconds so I can test it. So this is the, the speed. So he wants it to go a little bit faster. Oh, <laughs> it's really fast. <laughs> Goodbye. Jackal Game, my left ear is saying the right ear needs more sound. Is this true? Am I unbalanced? Is, am, I not, am I not panning correctly? That might be some good intel. Let me let me check. My I changed my audio setup, so I, it is very possible I am very unbalanced. Leaning more to the left. Oh, you know what? I am talking like somewhat offset though. Let me let me see if I can mess with my mic. Thanks for letting me know, Jackal Gamer. Hold on. Uh, I upgraded from a USB mic that was still Audio Technica to just an XLR mic. It's been a lot of trouble though. All right, does this sound better? We can record in stereo. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, yeah. No, you you are totally right. Why am I? Why am I so far onto the left? <laughs> and then if I listen back to my voice, oh yeah, that is entirely on the left. What if I turn off this button here? Yeah, because I only have gain options. Hmm. Hold on. We're, let's debug this live. Hello, hello, hello. That did not do anything. You see, this is this is gain. I'm gonna get a lot quieter. Let's bring me back up. Uh, is it set to mono? Uh, I don't have any button for mono. I have a I have a focus right. Let me see. Let's let's not dox myself by showing my exact <laughs> my Amazon account on stream. But let me see. What is the thing I have specifically? All right, bring up incognito mode. There we go. I have one of these. 
So this one doesn't have any of this. So the monitor is just for, it's just like total stuff. So I'm using the one on the left for XLR. Uh, and that knob just controls gain. Okay, so how do I... Uh, focus, right, control maybe? Output routing, no. I don't think any of these are what I want, right? <laughs> Focus right. Focus right Scarlet Solo. Audio panning. Why is my microphone guitar only on the left? Mono input. How do I... Ah, geez. How do I get my mic to record in stereo? The issue is actually that you're recording mono... Oh. Hmm. Mono input. Alright, let's look at OBS and just let's see if we can figure it out. Uh... This OBS... This is my microphone. <laughs> Apologize, I I did not realize I was in stereo mode. So that's my audio balance, but I don't think I want to do that. Thanks for redeeming it. Hydrate, not nah. remember to drink water. All right, hold up. I was I've been made aware that I've <laughs> my audio is being input as uh or it's panned all the way to the left. Curse you. New audio setup. Which makes sense. It means that it's trying to record in stereo. No one told me. I, I feel like I shouldn't do this. <laughs> I shouldn't try to balance it here. It's more on my input itself. Let's see. Scenes Untitled is using my microphone. So all of this, okay, well, okay. OBS, audio, input, panning. Audio pan filter. Stereo input into, try Windows mic settings. Is this it? Windows mic. If I can type. I hate Windows, the new uh, settings view. Microphone setup, is this it? I don't think this is it. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, up from the web, probably not. Do I want the control panel view? The sound icon? Is it this one? Sound settings? Is this a different one? It just gets worse and worse. Oh baby. Input. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, that, that's it. Unfortunately, I am unable to listen to myself. Still the same. I haven't changed anything, so that's good. <laughs> Use this device, yes. Listen. Uh, you know? Yes. Default format. Oh! We want one channel, right? This is. Alright, this might do a thing. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Before I brick everything, yeah, I send it. Is it better? One channel, mono channel? Actually, I can test this myself. Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Oh, wait. What? Wait. But now I can't... Huh? Wait, so is it... It is working? It is working? 
Hold on. Yes, I know I'm using- I'm still using Audacity, but I'm on a really old version of Audacity. It's working. But hold on, I want to see- Hello? Why doesn't- Ah, there we go. Alright, I'd like to thank the Academy and Jackal Gamer for <laughs> letting me know that was fixed. I guess most people, and by most people I mean like people on Sunday, just weren't listening with uh, with headphones. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't realize. Yeah, I, I noticed that when I was playing with it uh, when I got the mic. But I thought that was just because I was recording uh, an instrument in as well. But, you know. Thank you, thank you, Jackal Gamer, for your help. I miss my USB mic already. Just block Audacity, outbound rules, and firewall. No more info collection. Yeah. Or. You can just use one of the the many forks. Because apparently tenacity is the the next biggest one. But I don't know, I really should upgrade at some point, since having Audacity save projects as like an entire folder is kind of annoying. It's not that bad though, considering that I don't do too much uh, too much recording anyways. Or just use the many other free software, but Audacity is so nice though. <laughs> or it's so nice because it's so simple. So like what other sound recorders are there out there? Right, I know people like to say Reaper as a replacement. Reaper isn't really a sound recorder, it's more of a just an open source DAW that I don't know how to use. <laughs> it's just too many things I need to to learn. Oh geez. One, that's very fast. And also, they're not spaced out enough. Actually, yeah, this makes sense, right? Yeah. Please. So this is actually what I have though. Uh, if you don't remember this. So, we have a gacha game. It's very ugly right now since I'm just using kind of developer colors. So, our first game. Nice sound effects. And then play this one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this one's pretty ugly. And I suppose once you hit a pipe, you should just die, but... <laughs> so one, it's very fast. I don't think Flappy Bird was this fast. And I think also I need to scale up the pipes. Because they're just a little too small. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm a I'm a lazy. I only use one type of software. Or I learn one software and then unless I absolutely hate that piece of software, I will never <laughs> learn another one. Unless it's absolutely necessary that I do. Uh. No, don't do this. Uh. This one. We're trying to test out this mini game. All right. So now they're just too big, <laughs> and there's no <laughs> no collision. So you can just sit on the pipe. Reaper Pro Tools Studio Studio One. Yeah, see, that's what Google says. I saw, I, I did Google for other types. Reaper, not a replacement for Audacity. Pro Tools, isn't Pro Tools paid? CEO one I'm not familiar with. And then there's LMMS, which is also a DAW. Is that why you only build apps with Godot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. So in terms of you know, programming tools that also have like a visual interface or a visual editor. I was on Unity, went to Unreal, went to Godot, and then <laughs> found it was just easy enough. Or Windows has a simple recorder program, but 
Does Windows let you do this? If I can find Audacity. Uh, Cause I, I like how Audacity has the ability for you to just record in, and then you can also like in app, just generate all kinds of effects as well, right? So my favorite, you can phaser it. Oh, I guess the phaser isn't very, uh, very loud. Where's my, where's my reverb? Does it reverb it a little bit? We can loud list normalization, I guess. Windows recorder just records nothing more. Yeah, have to see. It's like I'm, I'm it's like I'm talking inside of a <laughs> a big room now. My favorite part. We can amplify it. Oh baby. So like it has a workflow that I know how to use and it's very simple. So I like that. Anyways, giving a lecture. That is what I do. That is what I do. I'm not a lecturer, I'm a consultant who has been sucked into just a quagmire of a project. Yeah, just, I say just block outbound rules, you'd be fine. Professional talker. Okay, dude. I always wanted to be a professional talker. If you think about it, a lot of people are professional, or a lot of professions can be described as professional talker. Comedian. Professional talker, you know, of course, a lecturer, teacher, professional talker, priest, <laughs> professional talker. I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, no, I, what I'm probably gonna do when I, whenever I upgrade my Audacity version, I'll just use Tenacity instead. Uh, most of those jobs are about what you talk about. I mean... <laughs> I just ma just finished making a save system in Godot. UI still needs more work, but the functionality is there. I have a save system, yeah, save the system as well. Look at this. I don't remember if it still works or not, but it's here. <laughs> Along with a, a metadata system, so if you wanted to continue from your last save, it's actually a, a different file. I suppose you could also just have that loaded in as part of each save file as well, but then that means you would have to read in each save file to find out which one was the last one. Yeah. Talking part is secondary. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. In my defense, that's also part of my job. Mine saves every scene you visit and loads that data when it's needed. Ooh. Yeah, no, I use, I use, uh... Wait, what, what kind of save system are we talking about? <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking more of a, a player data type thing, so... You have just like a centralized source for all your data, then I just store that. I send a dictionary to the save system. So I mean, modern auto save system, I assume. I prefer legacy auto save systems. Thank you very much. All right, so I think I need to space them out a bit more because <laughs> that's impossible. Uh, so we can do 750, right? Talking save the whole game if you want system. Oh. Saves every scene you visit and loads that data when it's needed. Oh, so what you're saying when you load in a new save, it doesn't auto save. Okay. Or maybe not auto save, but manual save, but something like that, right? So, floppy character, 
We do signal. Killed. Oof. This one's pretty easy. Floppy disk, we'll go back to here. We'll grab your floppy character. <laughs> uh, talking about your floppy character on Twitch. How lewd. Alright, so on killed, we'll do a thing. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I guess the autosave system that trashes your progress and you restart because you're too underpowered to beat the boss. Oh, baby. I think there are games that use, like, a, a forced autosave system well, though. Right? I, I think there's some... Well, I guess it's not really an autosave system. It's more of, like, a flag system, I guess, where you can't go back. Well, all it saves the scene, but doesn't write the disc until you click the save button. Okay. Modern, I mean games that auto save and keep multiple. You know, storage isn't a premium anymore. At a premium. Yeah. Although auto saving, depending on what kind of data you're saving, can still be pretty uh, pretty expensive. But I suppose that only really matters for an open world game. If you're doing something more simple, yeah. Remember memory cards? I remember that on the the GameCube. Hated the the initial memory card, and then I got um, Animal Crossing. And oh baby, that was a big memory card. Pretty much never played Animal Crossing after that, just used the bigger memory card for all my other saves. Another save files too. Nice to be worked on. I don't know. I think I limit you to unlimited save files as well <laughs> although you do have like just a save profile I guess it's not really like individual save files and also I auto save you so <laughs> or at least that's the idea uh, so on killed I suppose we can just reload more or less reload the scene right Yeah, okay. So let's let's uh set up game. And so let's move everything into here. Set up game and then tear down. Tear down game. And separate save files unless you override a file. No. I think I think having separate save files is good. But a downside of separate save files that you can choose to overwrite if you want is that it encourages save scumming if you have any sorts of, I guess, a randomness in your game. Or even if you have, I guess, a fail state in your game, it encourages save scumming, which I don't like. I think if you can work against save scumming, or if you, if you want to work against save scumming, then that's... That's the approach you have to take, is auto-saves. You should let people save scum. No, absolutely not. I think in some games, it makes sense to save scum. But, it, I mean, of course, it all comes down to, you know, design, right? It's pointless to limit people in single-player games. Well... See, if you, it's one of those things where if you give people the optimal or an optimal choice, they will take that optimal choice no matter what, right? So if they can go through an entire game deathless, and they have the option to go through the entire game deathless, then they will, right? You know, even if it's more fun, or, you know, or they'll go through, You'll they have the option to, you know, like in Dishonored, you can go through the entire game 
ghost. You can ghost the entire game. There we, there we go. You see, you get spotted once, then you'll just save scum and keep doing it. Even though it's technically more fun if you get spotted and have to worry, figure your way out of the situation. Actively, bad choice. For example, less skilled players would appreciate Skype scumming. Yeah, but it's it's it goes against the experience, right? So like all in games like Hitman. Like yeah, you can you can save scum if you mess up a kill, or you can um, just play it out and see where it takes you. That's how I feel about it, anyways. So like, if you want to design the experience around a certain mechanic, then getting rid of save scumming is, or getting if there if you want to design experience around a mechanic that has a failure, an active failure state, then you have to get rid of save scumming. Otherwise, people will just save scum and never experience the mechanic, right? You can do partial save scum protection, like certain random data save it, and a permanent save file while the other data's main progression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a... like a Doki Doki Literature Club has uh, certain flags that are set on your save file along with your current save file data. So yeah, you can save scum, but the game kind of knows if you're save scumming. Or you can just let people play how they want. No. <laughs> no. I think that, that that goes into a certain question of like how much do you want the game designer to you know design your game right and I think that's that's a that's kind of a hard question to answer sometimes right because I, I think if you if you go into a game and you're like wow this mechanic is broken and then you say oh but you just don't have to use that mechanic. It's like, oh, but it's built into the game. Whose fault is that? Is it the player's fault for not making the game fun for themselves? Or is it the designer's fault for, you know, leaving the broken mechanic in? Say fun is the main priority of the Fairfield source, and that's not really fun. It seems to be lost in games now, the fun part. Well, it's because it, go it goes back to the, the designer thing, right? Is because a lot of people kind of focus on adding more and more stuff into a game and then you know freedom of expression but all that really means is that you'll you'll pick the most optimal path which is not always the most fun path and that's the majority of people out there and that's why people are like oh people, this game isn't fun and it's like yeah but you can make it fun but who's, whose job is that to make the game fun? Is it the player's job to make the game fun, or is it the design, or is it the designer's job to make the game fun? And yeah, you know, you do take away a bit of player expression, sure, by taking out saves coming, but you do force people to, you know, experience the game how you want them to experience it. I find myself going back to play older games more because the older games had less <laughs> options, right? That's the problem with newer games, is that, yeah, they, you can do whatever you want, and th therefore it actually limits your options. If pretty graphics and little no gameplay is blah. If the most optimal game to play the game isn't fun, then the game sucks. I think I, that is something I disagree with. <laughs> I, I disagree with that. I think if the most optimal way to play the game, well, I think it, I think that that's I disagree with that in principle, but I do think that there is some merit to that. Right? It depends on what the game is. So like I'm trying to think of an example. Of course, uh, as you may know, I'm also actively programming. Think about Pactorio as an example, that's what I'm into right now. 
It has more options. Oh. Yes, but that's also a different type of game, right? It's not quite... Right, That that's almost in the same genre as like a Minecraft or a whatever, right? It's completely open-ended. It doesn't have just a certain type of mechanic that you can use, right? I mean, if we're, if we're, going, if we're going to talk about game, we can go back to my previous example, right? So if you want to play Hitman, then yeah. The most optimal way to play is to save scum the crap out of the game every time you get caught, <laughs> or every time something doesn't go right. However, I would argue that it's more fun to mess up and then have to, you know, go into the scramble. Or, you know, Metal Gear, if you mess up, you're no longer ghosting the mission, so you should save scum. Or, you can play through it. <laughs> and that's how you get more emergent gameplay from that. Of course, the most optimal way to play is to ghost it. Yeah. See, well, you're talking about games that are <laughs> extraordinarily open-ended. Like, they have... Minecraft doesn't even have... What? Well, that's not true. Minecraft does have an ending now, so there is something that you work towards. Right. But the objective in those games is much more different from something like a AAA game. Or... Is Dishonored AAA? Or Hitman is... AAA? Question mark? Uh, so floppy character has a collision shape. Oh, and this is just a kin kinematic body 2D, so we can do... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Metal Gear is a good example, too, of where save scumming is actively detrimental to the game experience. Although, I suppose in the older Metal Gears, you also could not just save whenever you wanted. Sure, it's always down to the player they want to play. They shouldn't be pigeonholed into a certain single play style. Well, that's what I'm saying, though, right? Is that is it up? To, is the question is is it up to the designer to make the game fun, or is it up to the player to make the game fun? Right? The designer can put in as many toys as they want, but the player only wants to play with the one toy all the time. Whose fault is that? Sure, the other toys might be more fun, but this toy is the most optimal. In older games, you don't have as many choices, which is why people think older games are more fun. What is what is the thing I'm looking for? This is... Uh, what's the signal? On collision? Por favor. Eh, physics body. No. Either optimal doesn't mean best. It does mean best, though, right? I think you're you're ignoring that a lot. A lot of players will pick the most optimal choice in many situations, no matter what. Even if you do have other choices that are less optimal but potentially more fun. Right, because the game doesn't really encourage you to use the other ones. It says you could use this. This is pretty fun. But I choose not to. But DD is more optimal. Well, see, that that's different, right? Because it, is it explicitly more optimal to do that? Is it the better choice? And isn't that also a problem with the game, is that you play the entire game with just one support character? Right. In that situation, would you know that this is the more optimal option? Right, the game encourages you to use multiple ones, because there's not one that's just more obviously better, but also, you only ever use the one support character, by the way. When you had, what well, you have, you have the dog, you have Quiet, 
You can also take the horse if you want, or you can take the robot. So if you play the game with only one support character, isn't that a failing of the game that you <laughs> kind of only experienced one portion of it? Eh, what's the thing I'm looking for? Move and collide. I'm losing my mind. Uh, get slide count. Oh, is there just not a... Oh, you know what? There might not be any, uh, anything for this, right? So we can do, we can instead do it here. This is a static body 2D. Static body 2D has... Which things? Oh, it just doesn't have anything, huh? Am I crazy? Are these only available on area 2Ds? With, like, the... Collision callbacks? Input event mass. It is only available on Area TD. Oh, what do you know? It's on the player to experience what they want in a game. Okay, that's good. We finally have an answer to my original question. See, and that's where we differ, is that I think it's on the designer <laughs> to experience, to Make sure that you experience what you know, you, what you want to experience. And of course, yeah, Metal Gear Solid V is a good example, I suppose. The design doesn't make it entirely clear which is the most optimal uh, thing. So you pick different options. And then you naturally gravitate towards one, depending on your playstyle. Of course, if you want to ghost everything, I'm not sure, but I, I've never ghosted the game. <laughs> I'm not really good at stealth games. Now, a story-driven linear game would be on the designer. Like, on the same. Pick a different. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that. <laughs> Players will gravitate towards the option that is the best. And actually, now we're now we're we're talking about something completely different, right? And now we're talking about game mechanics, <laughs> whereas I was talking about specifically safe scumming, which is a way to kind of force you to experience a game mechanic. So the pipe, so neither of these matter. So we can just do this, right? Is we can check your collision here. Uh, self dot slide, get slide count. If I, okay, well we do var slide count is equal to this. If slide count. Say escape scaling is one of those options. It's a, it's. I think it's a lazy option. That's what I think. That there's a better way to do it, and to force you to, you know, <laughs> actually play the game instead of just resetting over and over again. Accessible. Yeah, cheats is cheats is different. Che cheats is cheats is different. That's, that's absolutely not. Right, what I'm talking about is forcing a player to play through a failure state. Well, you're bringing up cheats, which is <laughs> something that is kind of in a different realm of uh, all this stuff. You're removing options and so, yeah, well, more options isn't necessarily better, right? Like, have you ever heard of, uh, was it decision paralysis, where you just have too many decisions? Right, it's reducing decisions actually makes it 
I guess, easier to play. <laughs> because you, you know, so if you have four, five, yeah, say you have five decisions, you, you know, you know what all your decisions are. Whereas if you have, you know, 10 decisions, it's, or 20 is 100 decisions, you're really only going to still use the five decisions. So why not just have five really good decisions as opposed to 100 that are okay? <laughs> And not really all that difference. Less decisions is better as long as the decisions are more impactful. If failure say is crucial to the game, then the same is going to hinder the experience, but some people can't handle failure well. We're talk talking about 100 options. Well, yeah, but still. It's it's still the, the same idea, right? We're, we're using hyperbole in order to build a case here. Actually, wait. There's only one possible thing you can inter you can slide against. So, self slide slide count is greater than zero. Then emit signal kill. Amazing. Because I don't think it can slide against itself. Yeah. Failure state is crucial to the game. Safe coming would hinder the experience, but some people can't handle failure. Well, that's true. That's true, but it doesn't have to be like a, I guess, an explicit failure state, right? Like it doesn't have to say like, oh, you failed. Congratulations. Right, it would just branch you off onto it in, into a different path. And that's where I'm kind of going with the entire designer thing is that you you need to design an appropriate success path and an appropriate failure path no player say something isn't the it's adding other options about changing save something say something a super helpful feature because save something as players try different things too i i guess that is an option for a save scumming right if you want to try out different things then yes, I think that's a valid use of save scumming. But using save scumming to avoid a failure state is bad design. <laughs> and also potentially, I think if you have to save scum in order to try out different options, that's also bad design. Hot take. Yeah, I think I think the, the biggest thing here is that we disagree on who's job it is for the player to have fun. <laughs> I think it's the I think it's the job of the designer to f to make you have fun. Right? Putting you into a sandbox with a bunch of tools, like a literal sandbox. If you're playing like a sandbox game, that's a bit different. <laughs> but in the metaphorical sandbox, just throwing you in there with a bunch of tools is not good design. I think having something that is more carefully thought out and yes you do you have the option to break the game if you want that's fine that's emergent gameplay etc etc but it's uh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I think it's on the designer to do a thing. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. It's entirely it's entirely on the designer, so if the player chooses not to have fun. Or if they find a way to not have fun, then that's on the designer, I suppose. Bad design is Dark Souls, there I said it. <laughs> is that true? Does Dark Souls have does Dark Souls have bad design? I think does See I like that Dark Souls design. I don't remember. Does Dark Souls have manual saves? <laughs> I don't remember. But I do remember Dark Souls is very difficult. Yeah, oh yes, Dark Souls doesn't really have manual saves, does it? Right? So you can you can like teleport scum by save by like just quitting and exiting. If I remember correctly, right? But you can't really save scum in Dark Souls. 
I think you have a naive opinion of how diverse players are. Well, yeah. Uh, I think players are very diverse. I don't know if my opinion is naive or not. Uh, that's <laughs> but I think, of course, there's some players who only want to play a certain way. Uh, and I think that's dumb. <laughs> so if you want to, you know, if you only want to play a certain way, then that's fine. You're not going to have fun in this game. I, I don't believe in games that cater to every person. I, I don't think games are for everyone. And not every game is for every person. I think that is... That's silly, so... <laughs> Designers that say this is how you should play this game make bad games. It only... Uh, it doesn't... It, it only has death. And cheap bosses. I don't think... There's not too many cheap bosses in Dark Souls. Right? Let me think. What are the cheap bosses in Dark Souls? Uh, I think the gargoyles are kind of cheap, actually. I don't. I didn't like the gargoyles. Bosses that can do 180 turn mid swing is good design. I think it's fine as long as it's telegraphed that's going to be 180 <laughs> swing. I think if they just pivot mid swing, then yeah, that's that's bad. But that's also just kind of on the technology as well. First boss in Dark Souls. I've, never, I've only ever played Dark Souls. <laughs> I've only ever played Dark Souls and then like a little bit of Bloodborne. Yeah, no, tracking tracking is bad. Tracking is bad. Uh, so tear down, on kill, tear down, and then set up again. Yeah, okay, that's the thing I was missing. Yeah, uh, what, what are the bosses in Dark Souls 1? I think Manus is kind of... <laughs> I, I don't like Manus. Uh, I don't like the gargoyles. That's pretty much it, right? Out of the three, Dark Souls 1 was the best. I think Dark Souls 1, from what I understand from other people's opinions, is that Dark Souls 1 has the best world. Dark Souls 3 has the best gameplay, and Dark Souls 2 is... okay. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is like in response to people saying that pe they want more Dark Souls 1. But I've never played Dark Souls 2, so I, I keep... Never played Dark Souls 2 or 3. I can believe that when people say they don't like... Oh, uh, so that is something I need to fix, by the way. Probably shouldn't have them clip out. Actually, that's kind of weird, right? So, see here, they're not clipping out. But sometimes they do? See, this looks right. Hmm. Yeah, but I, th I think Dark Souls is an example of game design done better. Maybe not right, but better. Is it perfect? No. Is it very good? Yes. Is it doing something different? Not really, actually. <laughs> I think the idea that it doesn't have any save system besides just resting at a bonfire is neat. I think most games cheap out. And they did they did go the extra thing like what I was saying with it. You don't have the possibility of saves coming, basically. You were kind of forced to retry from that point. So that makes it, it does make it less accessible. So, okay, here's a question. <laughs> Do you think Dark Souls should have a, a difficulty system? And then that will, uh, that decides it right there. <laughs> that will settle the argument. Well, it's easy to save scum. All you have to do is grind souls. I suppose, yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Well, that's not really save scumming. That's more of the difficulty system. That's a built-in difficulty adjustment, right? Nice. Right, so I, I think I need to change this. So it's not the full Y extent. It's like the Y extent times 
0.9 <laughs> times or no hold on why am I doing it here times 0.9 math times 0.9 use this or a teleport system escape hatches are necessary difficulty setting settings I suck I'm actually found a dynamic difficulty but that's hard to pull off yeah so grinding is a form I think grinding is Dark Souls is difficulty system which I think is it's okay it's okay I actually kind of like well I I haven't played Dark Souls 2, but I do know that Dark Souls 2 despawns enemies after a little bit. So at some point, it does force you to get good. Right, because it... You, I think if you just grind to overpower every single encounter, then you're not really playing the game anymore. <laughs> you're just trying to one-hit everything. But it needs a save system. Dark Souls has a teleport system. After a little bit. Where you can warp from bonfires. Yeah, no, I'm... I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I think escape hatches are okay. But they have to be done in a very specific way. Otherwise, they're just kind of weird. Huh. So that's weird. But Dark Souls isn't hard, it's just cheap. I don't... I don't think Dark Souls is cheap. I think it's it's actually hard. You just need to play carefully, which is something that I think people aren't too used to. Hmm. You have to you have to play slower and you have to I guess recognize enemy patterns, which I like. One of my friends really likes grinding. Yeah, well, grind in a different game then. <laughs> That's not what the, this experience is built around. So if you if you want to try to grind, that's that's how I feel about it, right? Is like if you want to do something in a game that's it's not built for, I guess that's fine. But I'm gonna make it hard for you, because clearly the game doesn't appeal to you, anyways. If a boss can one shot you. Why can't I? I think there there are games like that, right? I'm trying to think of them <laughs> after saying that. I actually don't think there are games like that. Um, mostly because I think that would be really tedious. Dodge, dodge, dodge versus hack, hack, hack. Not much of a difference. I think a game that takes away that because the game is not having fun that way is a pretty shitty game. Still mashing a button. Well, that's just like, it just means the game isn't for you, right? Like, I don't want you to grind. Like, there's a, there's, if you've played the, the trails of, trails of, like, trails in the sky, trails of cold steel, those kind of games, those actually actively discourage you from grinding as well. So, like, you do level up via experience points, but the, you know, the closer you are to the intended level, the less experience points you gain, and eventually you just gain one experience point per encounter, which happens actually pretty quickly. And so in that way, the game actually pushes you to be like, hey, stop grinding. Like, yes, you, well, I'll let you grind, but I'd really would rather you not, right? Because it uses a, it's not a dynamic, but it's like kind of a rolling system, a scaled system. So the farther you are away from like the intended level, the more experience points you gain, or the like, I guess, suppose the less. All right, chat's very active. Whoa. It's a fake living system. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think if you are saying that Tales, Trails in the Trails in the Sky is not a real RPG, I think that's a <laughs> that's a hot take. That's a hot take. That is that is a it's it's a it's a it's a 
It's one of them. It's not the, the most famous of them. I suppose Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest. Other more popular ones. But those those are still pretty full-fledged RPGs in their own right, right? Or JRPGs anyways. They focus on different things, right? So if you want to grind, you've gone to the wrong game, of course. But if you want to be, I guess, in a realized world that has kind of a fun combat mechanic, then yeah. It's a fake RPG. That's a hot take. <laughs> go to... I think if you go to... was it? The JRPG subreddit and say that Trails in the Sky is not a, a real RPG, you'll get some... You'll get into a really heated argument over that. But yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of my point, is that... I think the way that those games discourage you from grinding is a good system, right? Like, the designer does not want you to grind, but they still let you do it, but they make it really, really hard for you to grind. What you're more supposed to do, and right, because also the more you grind, the easier the game becomes. So, like, you never really get that, I guess, progression, right? Like, you're always just one-shotting things, if you just grind too much. Uh... If I dot position... Global position. Yeah, so I, I think it's a good way of controlling difficulty slash, uh... What am I doing? All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking. I need to think a little bit. Uh, hmm. Actually, if I just do get tree get viewport. Hmm. What do you think? That's actually a bit tough. If I do. I think our fundamental disagreement is about if games should be accessible or not. I think that's probably it, yeah. <laughs> that's probably it. I think that makes more sense. I don't think games should be accessible for everyone, unfortunately. I think if it, if it compromises the original vision, I don't think it makes too much sense. Which is why I'll never work at a, <laughs> a big AAA company. Let's control S the chat. Just control, control W the chat. Actually, don't. I, w I would like you to stick around. I guess, like I said, some people like that. My friend, he's on Grand Slip One Shine. That's how he likes it. He sings more hours than I do. Don't ruin his fun. Ruin his fun if progression is what you want. Oh, no. Just play Cookie, click cookie Clicker or something, right? <laughs> You've come to the wrong game. Right. It's a... I think if you don't, if you don't want a designed experience, then you probably shouldn't play these <laughs> those type of games, right? So the trails in the sky, shouldn't play that if you don't want a designed experience. Don't play Dark Souls if you don't want a designed experience, right? <laughs> hmm, so if... Debug? Isn't this is it? Is debug something like that? Debug? OS? Is it not OS? Is it engine is debug? Please, I desire code completion. Okay, what is it called? Debug. Is debug build. Wait, no, this doesn't make any sense. Why would I want to do this? Huh. See, the problem is I can't test this because I, I need to access this main display canvas item. <laughs> I'm sick of story different games. I want a game that just says here play. I like a good story sometimes, but other times I just want to play. Yeah. Well, there are other types of games for that, right? 
if you just want mindless hacking and slashing, I think uh, there's plenty of games like that. The accessibility the cost of vision is better. I think you're being closed minded about accessibility. Games being accessible are compromising. That's what separates a game from good game from the not so good ones. I think that's what compromises a lot of games. <laughs> is that they they become too I guess not accessible, but I guess too open. Like I think if you know, you want colorblind options, that's fine. You want you want like actual like physical impairment accessibility options, that's fine. But I think if you want to play a game that goes against the the way like the original design went, that's weird. <laughs> and I think if you find a way to do it, that's cool, but I'm not gonna support it. Great example of fun versus stories. Atlas. Madness Returns, great platformer. I've never played it. Alice, Mad Madness Returns. Actually, is it the one I think it is? Have I, have I seen that on GDG, GDGQ? Alice, Madness Returns. Uh, uh, I've seen this one before. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a GDGQ run of this, but the twist on Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I think I've, I've, spent, <laughs> I've spent too much time talking. I basically got well. I wouldn't say I've gotten nothing done. I got actually a surprising, a surprising amount of work done, <laughs> considering I haven't been uh, paying attention at all. No, I haven't played it. Not really into emulating games, unless it's on Steam, in which case I might check it out. Uh, so which I need to get, let's just do, this is um game manager, main viewport dot size dot x divided by two. I'll need to grab this. Y divided by two times this value. And I think this will also need to be, uh, what was I thinking here? Oh, I need to reset the pipes to somewhere. So, oh, okay. I can just do this, right? So we do bar screen extents or no yeah uh, it's not really extents so that's what I'm going to call them yeah, it's just going to go in circles we fundamentally disagree this is true <laughs> different viewpoints Alice Mattis returns is on steam and worth a play really get it cheap Oh baby, might check it out, might check it out, although I'm, <laughs> I am trying, is it available on PS4 or Switch? I check that right now actually, Alice, Madness Returns, what platforms is it on? Oh no, it's EA, <sighs> okay, only on Windows, yeah. Check it out, might check it out. I have seen it played before. Screen makes sense, this is a vector two. We'll just initialize this as zero. Let's grab all of these. Boom, boom, boom. Then this is screen extents X, because we're gonna be accessing this from multiple places, dot Y. And then those things are going to be broken once I take this out. Boom, boom. So this is screen 
extends x, and then we need the screen extends y. Hush. I have a meeting? Yeah. It's before EA got stupid bad. Goth girl protag. It's American McGee's Alice. Uh, American McGee. One of the one of the Doom guys. There's a part one to the story, but it's a r little rough around the edges. Hasn't EA always been stupid bad? Like they would buy up companies and then just shelve them. Yeah, R.I.P. Westwood. And I, I still want a game that was like, uh, was it Red Alert Renegade? Nah, that's a good game. Or is it, is it, was it called Red Alert Renegade? Renegade? Am I thinking, yeah, yeah, Red, and Conquer Renegade. Uh, that's a game I want to play. Uh, they got bad toward mid 360 PS3 days. Casually ignores the death of Westwood. <laughs> it's okay. I remember Westwood. Don't need to play the first to play the second. It's good to know. They were bad before. I guess, are you saying that they got even worse? <laughs> so, okay, so if uh, I dot position, I dot global, I suppose it's not really global position, right? It's just I dot position uh, dot X is less than screen extends X minus X, right? Because this is all Local, yeah, yeah. So once it goes off screen, minus x plus a little bit more. So we can say, I don't know, give it a hundred. Then we'll just teleport it back here. Seven fifty. Maybe it should just be seven fifty, and I shouldn't be hard coding this value. <laughs> So I dot position dot x is equal to whatever this is, just 750. They were bad before, they weren't so bad, but not amazing. They were acceptable then. I you know, found the people that only played Madden. <laughs> Uh, that's a, for legal reasons, that's a joke. Uh, all right, so this then this just goes for forever. So let's see. I should see. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I forgot how bad I am at Flappy Bird. Oh no, <laughs> they're starting to double up. Okay, so let's see. There's there's an easy way around this. Um, what if we just have a spawner? I think whatever I'm trying to do here is kind of weird and kind of relies on the positioning to be exact. Only played Madam as if I I forgot that some of us aren't Americans. <laughs> So, let's see. We could just, or I could just do this, right? So we just spawn them incessantly. Yeah. So the, take out this, and then we just spawn pipes at a specific point. Which is going to be this point here. And then just keep spawning them. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
yeah, spawn them and then just erase them, right? Q free them. That's much easier. And the game is simple. More of a basketball fan, but never touch the games unless it's NBA Jam. Use a range that doesn't overlap. I don't know. I'm having trouble thinking. <laughs> Brain isn't full firing at full capacity. It's probably from all the electricity I absorbed while I was changing my thermostat. So let's see. Uh, we'll just do i dot q three, something like that, and then we'll just spawn them, right? So they need to be x far away. Wait, use a range that doesn't overlap. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like there, there must be a good way of doing this, though, right? Yeah, there, there is a mathematical way of doing this, but what I'm thinking is just... We'll just spawn pipes every now and then. User range plus a, buff a buffer width. Hmm... What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? For I in range... Some amounts, but then how do I, how do I just teleport them back here, right? What does the buffer width do? Right, so this is the range for I in range max pipes, which is six, right? And then I just spawn them in. And then kind of the problem here is that they're not spaced out according to their, I guess their speed. So actually if I were just to increase the speed, this might make more sense. Yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, so instead of doing this the good way, we're gonna do this the garbage way. <laughs> and just flip these around manually. Let's earn coins. Where am I? I think I've already died. When off screen X is, when off screen X minus screen width plus sprite width plus buffer width, Eh. <laughs> Sounds complicated. Uh, my question is how do I... Oh? Did I already lose? Oh, no. Hold on. Ugh. Alright, so you can't fall fa fast enough to make that, but that's fair. I think that's also true in Flappy Bird. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with the easy solution, <laughs> which is this. So we'll just spawn on a timer, right? And then I don't have to worry about any of the, the fancy math. Now, I'm setting the exposition off screen with some size limits. Well, yes. I, I the, the hard part is that I was... Um, I was... Spawning in a batch of them. I was spawning in six pipes, all separated out by 750 times I. Right? And so the question is, whenever the first pipe goes off screen, how do I know where to spawn, where, where to spawn the queued, the, the now freed pipe? So I think that sounds like a lot of math. So I'm not going to do that. Right, because I, I spawn pipes and I've, the, the problem with whatever you guys were suggesting is that 
I was spawning a batch of six pipes. But I think all six pipes do not traverse the screen by the time the first pipe goes off screen. So that's where I was kind of confused as to how uh, to do it. Make a scene with the amount of pipes and spawn the scene? No. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of what I have going on here, right? Then you make the, the pipes randomized in the pre-made scene? Nah. I think this makes more sense. <laughs> just use... It doesn't even need to be a pool. It can just be... I spawn in a pipe on a timer. And then the logic is a lot easier. And also, it, like, this entire scene is self-contained. So who cares? I think I, I was trying to get too fancy with it. Which is, uh... Admittedly, something I get trapped into many times in terms of programming. I'll fix on to the first solution I think of. Or the first solution I think of that looks like it'll work. It's a bad habit. Pipe timer. One shot, don't auto start. I'll grab the pipe timer. So, on ready. Bar, pipe, timer, timer. Setup game doesn't really need to do anything anymore. Maybe? I think we just need tear down game. Yeah. And then we don't even need this node, this pipes node anymore, I think, right? Since if we're just doing spawning we can get rid of this just use a position 2d it'll do, position 2d will do the same thing as a, a no 2d but this is visual so we'll spawn them here this is pipe spawn position we'll grab where is it Pipe, pip, spawn, position. Did you know, actually, I found this out recently. Did you know that pip isn't really the the recommended way to do Python package management anymore? I had no idea. Or at least it's not the, it's not the de facto way to do it. I think apparently poetry is the new stuff. Oh, but I still need pipes, actually. Hold on. Control-Z. Oh, no. Uh, go here. Give me back pipes, and then we will also have... Oh. Never mind. What am I, what am I talking about? This works. So, pipe spawn position, and then we just have var pipes, which is now just an array, and this makes it pretty easy, right? So pipes and for i in pipes. So whenever we spawn a pipe, we add it to the pipes array. Poopetry. I see poop is the newage. What? <laughs> what? Is that a... Is that like kind of a a lisp joke? <laughs> that you're not able to say certain words correctly? Or wait, no, I think I overthought it. Never mind. See, I thought what you were trying to say, or I thought you what, the sentence that you were intentionally messing up was I see poop is the, the sewage. Uh-huh, get it? But actually, it <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Uh, so pipes, add child. Okay, so we want to do, we can just do <laughs> pipes append pipe pair. So we store the reference and then we'll just do regular add child. So your Python remark years ago, new age. Oh, new age. Well, I like Python. 
I like Python. Big fan of Python. Space got missed. How sad. Just like the space between us, you will. So we have the spike pump, uh, the pipe spawn position. So on a timer, let's see spawn time. I, don't, I guess we don't even need max pipes, right? So let's do const uh, pipe spawn time floats, and let's call it let's call it one. One is pretty good. And then we'll have to hook up the timer. So we'll do pipe. Pipe timer. Connect. Let's see, time out. So on pipe timer timeout. Yeah. Node not found. Huh? Oh. Pipe timer. Oh, that's neat. It's actually giving me a an actual error message. So I'm actually using the three points for Godot Beta, as you can see in my description here. How nice. Pipe timer. Start. Uh, pipe spawn time. Yeah, pretty excited for 3.4 to release. Along with whenever the alpha for Gizzo 4.0 comes out. I keep hearing that that might be coming out somewhat soon, but or we can hydrate. Thanks for redeeming hydrate, Knock. Remember to drink water. Yeah, 4.0, it's looking good. I would expect 4.0. From what I can tell, probably September, maybe, for an alpha. September, I still think December will be like the beta. Dude, Jack, we gotta stay hydrated. You're not my supervisor. Yada yada. One of the only two archer quotes I still remember. <laughs> You're not my supervisor, and uh. What is it? Danger zone! It's also a very good one. I need to hydrate the toilet. <laughs> I don't remember mom, so drink. <laughs> you sound like my co workers. <laughs> uh. Actually, that, that sounds like me. Chug, 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 chug. Man, I was a really bad influence when I was still in school. <laughs> uh. Alright, so we just run everything on a timer, like so, and then we'll do... Uh, I guess we should just wrap this into like, this is like, yeah, this is now spawn pipe. And similarly, setup game is now just spawn pipe. And then this one is now just spawn pipe. There we go. Easy. Yeah, I guess. I guess given all the drugs and hookers you mentioned so often. Yeah, you know me. That's what happens when you, you start your own casino. Blackjack and hookers, baby. Although I will have you know, I've never had to hire an escort before. <laughs> I have been in a strip club before though, and let me tell you, extremely uncomfortable. 
extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know what people see in that. Or I don't know what people... Well, no, I know what people get out of strip clubs. But I think, like... Being surrounded by dudes <laughs> who are super horny just makes me uncomfortable. I don't know if that's more of a like a statement about myself than like society, but <laughs> I think just being around a lot of people who are like extremely horny makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, surrounded by dudes part gets me. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Just making sure I'm not the weird one here. Alright, so let's try this out. I think this is going to work. I'll give it like a 50% since I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, for I... Let's see. How is I... Hey? Oh, oh, because I didn't, uh, I didn't Q-free them. That makes sense. So let's do... So one, we need to slow this down. Two, whenever we Q-free, we also need to do... Pipe dot pop front. Yes. So this should work, right? Because now I'm actually... I'm removing the thing from the... Ooh, where am I? I think I've just fallen off the map. Okay, so that is probably another issue, is that you don't f die if you hit the ground. Because, unfortunately, the game starts as soon as you click the button. Oh, this is tough. Oh, and then we break. So, what if we just do, hit it with a free? Yeah, and then we just free, and then we just spawn on a timer. Seems legit. Let's see, floppy character, increase gravity by a little bit. Probably be fine. Let's do the pipes, pipe pair. Hmm. Floppy disk. Huh, I wonder if I should build in like a, hmm, I guess like a, a built-in delay, if that makes sense. Right, because some of these games they do, or some of these mini games, it's not like a real game, but some of these mini games depend on or I guess just kind of throw you straight into the action, which is kind of unfair. Hmm. So let me see. Or if it just starts when you click. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So set up timer. That doesn't do anything. Nothing we want. I can think about it later, but I do need to add in a failure state for, I guess, not actually staying above ground. Yeah. It works. So you should be getting coins, like, so what I'm envisioning is like a cha-ching, cha-ching, oh. Huh. Invalid get index position. So it's not actually popping front. Okay, so we can we can fix this. We can fix this. We can turn pipes back into a node. 2D. Pipes. I'm just willingly... This is not how I would usually structure most of my stuff, but... Whatever. So pipes. Node 2D is equal to... Pipes. 
so pipes. This is now pipes. We got children. We no longer need to pop fronts. And also we can do Q free because we can guarantee that this will work. Pipes. And then this is the only thing that needs to change, which is pipes. Uh, add child pipe pair. There we go. And then pipes. Get children. And then we also have access to the player. Well, actually, no. On the player, we can just do if self. Yeah. L if self dot uh, position is less than. Floppy character dot position is less than screen, or actually it would be greater than screen extents y. Then we can just call on kill directly. Hello, vector two floats. Oh right, so the y position. So on killed, tear down game. Oh, and I actually don't reset your position. Okay. So initial player position. So bar initial player position. Some sort of vector two. Actually, I should do this as well. Just to make sure I remember that this value is something that I set in the ready function. Initial player position is equal to floppy character dot position, I suppose. So tear down game, we do all this, and then we also reset the position. Floppy character dot position is equal to got some chili and crackers. A baby. What kind of chili is it? What you got in that chili? Initial player position. Alright, let me see. I think I should... Hmm. I think I should just wait for a little bit before the game starts. Yeah, I think we should wait a little bit until the game starts before letting the player fall. So what we can do is we can turn off processing. We can start the player, pause mode. Wait, how do you just pause? Can't you pause it from here? No? Floppy character. Homemade with cheddar cheese and mustard in it. Mustard. Don't judge the <laughs> yeah. Don't judge the mustard and the chili. Yeah. I was like, all right. Homemade with cheddar cheese. Oh baby, mustard. Huh? Is it like? Is it is it like the mustard seeds or is it like, like mustard the sauce? Because <laughs> that changes my opinion. Scene tree is paused. Oh, so I can't. Hmm. Actual mustard. So like, a, so like the mustard sauce, then the condiments. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm judging you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's pretty. That's that's pretty non-standard. If I have, I have to say so myself. I think if you put like mustard, like ground mustard seeds or whatever, I I can get it. Like, have you ever had like um. Fancy mustard, the chunky stuff, with the bits and bobs in it. That's that's good mustard. Hmm. I 
I'll just start you higher. Instead of actually solving the problem, let's just do this. Yay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Is less than minus green extents. Wait. Is greater than screen extents. Oh, plus. I don't know. We'll call it. We'll call it an additional five hundred. It's like eating a chili dog with mustard without the dog. Yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> that's pretty weird. I like a chili dog, but I think uh, the big parts of eating a, a chili dog are is one the bun, and two like the actual hot dog. Get tree pause. Tree will pause the scene. Yeah, well. I would like I would like to pause just the one thing. I, I thought you could do that, but as it turns out, my memory is uh, well cannot be trusted, which is fair. I mostly just know how to talk. Also, I've <laughs> forgotten. I actually changing the order of these two things doesn't actually make a difference, since I actually just pick one. I pick them at random. <laughs> Yay, coins. So it looks like you can fall pretty far. Okay, and that that's when it's no longer fine. Uh, kind of a weird glitch there, not sure what happened. But now we just go, and then I, what I think I'll do is whenever you pass through the middle of, of a pipe, I'll just spawn a coin. Or I'll spawn a few coins, like da da da. Oh, actually, you know what? If you... The farther in you go, like the more pipes you pass, the more coins you get. There we go. I like that. And I won't... Well, you can do if pause is equal to true return in the process of set instance, then it won't run the process of true pause as a member var. Is it? Floppy character. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Node. Paused. No. Which which um which which thing is it a uh, a part of? Is it a part of objects? Pause. Yeah. No, you can't pause an object. You make the var- oh. oh! Okay. Yeah, but nah, I'd, I'd rather not. Instead, we, instead, we'll just have you fall from farther up. Okay. So... so I'm, not, I'm not trying to make these too nice. Uh, these minigames are more of just a way to facilitate you increasing your currency so that you can gamble on whatever. Right? So I've explained this before. Um, I don't think you were there though. Uh, so the, the the point of the game is less of WarioWare and more gambling. Right? I want to make a game that's like lots of gambling. So you can play Pachinko, you can play Slots, you can play whatever. And that in unlocks further games. However, just gambling with money that uh, you didn't earn kind of it, it takes away some of the fun right some of the risk so if I if I make you earn currency by playing mini games that may or may not be a lot of fun it makes the payoff from winning one of your <laughs> gambling things a lot more fun a lot more rewarding you can also set all the other scene notes to process while the player set the stop you just want the player to stop Sounds painful. Yeah, I, I did see that the, the there is the pause mode, but that's not really a a good solution. So 
base mini game. Spawn coin. Yeah, spawn coin at is just a function I have. Okay. Neat. Not really painful. Well, you do need to set that setting on every single other thing in the in the scene, right? And I have let me see, how many things do I have running just by default in this scene? Yeah, I have I have five nodes plus just like the <laughs> display node. So I would need to change their pause priority or pause pause mode. So Some scenes will inherit from parent, yeah. Eh, I'd rather not. I think that's it's a it's a weird solution. Uh, that I think kind of it depends on what your your architecture looks like, right? I think if you're, I think that works if you have like a dedicated GUI instance, yeah. And that GUI instance is pause mode process, so it's not affected by pause. Then yeah, I guess that makes sense. But I think if you just want to stop one thing in the scene, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. Yeah, well, because I'm only pausing one thing. I think using pause, scene tree pause, works if you have, if you want to pause everything except for one thing. Whereas in my situation, I only want to pause one thing in the scene. So it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to, you know, to flip all the values around. It, it doesn't work both ways. Unfortunately. Lazy dev. Yeah, well, that's what makes, uh, that's what separates the good devs from the, the other devs. I don't know. <laughs> what was I doing? I was doing this. So if floppy character, position Y, okay. So check if major is below ground. My previous suggestion about the pause equal true would be efficient. Yes, it would be. But I don't want to use anything that's not built in because I'm <laughs> I'm also lazy. And also, that's another branching path you would have in your process node. Ah. I think that that's something I'm trying to get better at is avoiding things that only fire once in your process nodes, AKA like is thing pause, <laughs> which is actually, that's why I wrote a piece of a code that does exactly that. I think it's called, what is it called? Preprocessor. Yeah. Preprocessor GD that actually lets you avoid, it lets you put branching paths in your process and physics process functions only when you want them. And then when you decide that you no longer want them, you run the preprocessor and it replaces your, uh, it replaces your scene script with an entirely new script based off of some preprocessor magic. So I think this one has, yeah, so it's very C style. So if top down, have gravity. So you have your gravity initially set to 600, but if you're top down, then set your gravity to this. And then if top down, else do this kind of move and slide. So that's how, that's how I think I'll be handling branching from now on, is just using this kind of weird preprocessor. Because it's, it's just more efficient this way. So what the preprocessor will do, it will scan your file and then just emit the new code. So actually what happens in the compiled code, it's not really compiled, but the resulting code is you either have move and slide with this or move and slide with vector two up. And then of course, this is an example of how you would use it, which is why it's so simple. You can also use the stop process for a node. How does this work? It's built in. Stop.
Oh yeah. Yeah, isn't it? It's like self process. Uh, what is it what is it called? I feel like I've seen that before, but I've never used it. Set process. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Set. Uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We're already past that. So, <laughs> solution easy. Just spawn you above the screen and let you uh <laughs> fall in. Uh, so, since we're doing checking here, despawn if on screen. Or actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this probably doesn't make sense to do, right? Spawning you off screen. I should probably just spawn you here, and then also just prevent you from going too high, perhaps? Okay, so let's just put in an invisible wall. So we'll call this ceiling. Uh, collision, shape, rectangle. Like so. Doesn't really matter how big it is. And yeah, I think, yeah, I think I will use that, uh, A thing. So if I were to use it until you press the hop button, I could. I could. Yeah, actually. But then that would require me to change it from a a const to a a var, which isn't too painful actually. That makes more sense. Yeah, that's actually a good solution. And then we just need to change everything. Not too bad. Oh, uh, but then... Hmm. Eh. I mean, it's a mini-game collection, actually, now I'm thinking about it. So save this. I think we're going to keep it like this, and then we'll just pause it for a set amount of time. So we'll do timer, player, spawn, timer, or player, or we'll just call it gravity delay, gravity delay timer. So, funk on gravity delay timer time out. Yeah, so the reason why I don't want to do, you know, player gravity zero until you press the hop button is because it's another branch. So it's going to be another branch somewhere, so. That's just something I'm trying to get better about for myself. It's a, it's a, it's a micro uh, optimization. That doesn't really help to be honest, but it's just good practice. Unless it makes things really hard to read, but I think this is still pretty readable. IMO. So this is floppy character. Set. It's just physics process. True. So like that. We'll do floppy character. Set. Physics process. False. And then we'll grab the gravity delay timer. Timer, which is 
gravity delay timer. We'll connect it just like that. Well, no, actually not here. Here, gravity delay timer connect timeout. Self on, let's grab this. Beautiful. Const gravity delay time. Probably just one second is good enough. And then after that, I'll just let the player fail. And the reason why that's fine is because you can fail an infinite amount of times, and then I'll just reset you. It does reset your score, but when you're just spawning in, you don't have any. It doesn't, well, it doesn't reset your score, it resets your combo. But when you just start, when you first start the game, you don't have any combo anyways, so who cares? And if you really care to, like, have a no-fail run, then you'll know that that's how the game works, so. Yeah. So these are all connected. Okay. Now we need to have a thing in the physics process. So we check to see if the player has, with the player's X position. Wait. Should also throw pickles at the screen to make it harder. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, right? So like, something I was thinking about for the, the games, right? Is like, you could have difficulty modifiers. So like, uh, if you wanted to have, you know, double the amount of coins you get from the next few mini games, you know, you'll select some difficulty modifiers and then play it. Right, so you only get one coin for each one, but, you know, throw pickles at the screen so I have a structured view. What do you think? And then you get a few more coins per play. Something like that. Ugh. Went too high. I think that, that could be a cool idea, yeah. I think you were making a joke, but ha, <laughs> I turned it against you. Ugh. Let me see. Screen extents Y. Oh, I think the screen extents Y are also like kind of jacked up. So let's do this instead. Let's re let's just recalculate every single time. Why not? Point six. Well, I'm all for pickles being thrown at the screen. No, you're not throwing any hot dogs at the screen since you're eating a chili dog without. Okay. Never mind. I was trying to construct a joke about you eating a chili dog. Since, you know, hot dogs kind of look like pickles. Okay. Peanut butter to slow you down. Yeah. Uh, what I was kind of thinking is more like, uh, you know, the Mario Kart's blooper. You know that power up or item. That's a pretty good one. And then if the pickle meets the peanut butter and makes things slippery. Is that how that works? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. But I'm not a... I'm not a scientist, so what do I know? Yeah, let's just make this real simple. So I was going to go with some fancy logic to determine if you have passed the pipe. Because it's possible that your, your X positions will not be the same, right, on every frame. However, instead of doing that, let's just do big rectangle shape. And then it has one coin to give you. But why not? It's a video game. Logic in video in games shouldn't make sense. What? <laughs> I think it depends on much how wacky your game is, 
right? Or how, how, how much moon logic you want to have in your game. Some people like to have a lot of moon logic. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of moon logic for the most part. I, I like games that are more or less like, you know, cause, effect, easy. Like I, I, I think stories and games that have like, like mystery games or whatever, detective games where you can figure out the entire case uh, without the game having to tell you is pretty neat. Right. Which is why I, I I've played uh I played Ace Attorney before. I thought that's <laughs> some some of the cases were kind of moon logicy. Like you just had to guess what the designer was thinking of. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Scoring area. Just an area two D. Scoring area. And then we'll do on. Oh, okay, hold on. So scoring area. Uh, connect. Body entered. Self on body entered. So we'll hit him with a funk. On body entered. So body, which is some sort of node. You should play the Sherlock games? Maybe, maybe. Is that a suggestion for me to play the games on stream? In which case, no. Don't play games on stream, I'm very sorry. Unless, of course, you save up enough to redeem the Pivot channel point reward, in which case I will consider it. <laughs> if my PC can handle it. Because actually, I'm not streaming from a, a PC PC, like a PC tower. I'm streaming from a laptop. It is beefy enough, since I think it has a 2070. Or no, a 2060, I think. What do I have? Let's just show my computer properties on stream. Is this not how you look at your graphics card? Maybe not? How do you look at your graphics card? Performance. Was it's not what I have. Oh, I have a 2060, yes. So look at that. Pretty powerful, considering that I'm running the space tracker and streaming and doing game development at the same time. Not bad. There's quite a few of them ultra new and your PC should be able to handle them. Yeah, well, it's the question isn't whether or not my PC can handle it. It's whether or not I can handle everything else going on at the same time. Oh. So let's see. We can add this to a group. We'll just make this really simple. So this is just part of the player group. So back to pipe pair, we'll do if body is in group player, hard code the string, who cares? And then we'll just emit a signal. So scored. So emit signal. Scored, and that's it. Then back to floppy disk. Whenever we spawn a new thing, we'll hook it up to on scored. Mm hmm. Well, on scored. Oh, you know what? We can we can also emit the position as well. So we'll we'll do self dot position hook this part up to then receive that so pause factor two and then we'll track we can track the current combo right current score combo int uh, we'll make it a float so you start at one and they'll just increment up but of course we're going to be multiplying so Actually, eh, yeah, it's better to do it as a float, just in case I actually implement like the modifier idea, right? So then you can have partial 
partial score. So on score, we'll do base minigame has spawn coin at. So we do spawn coin at pause. Add child coin. Let's see. How did I do it in Hammer in the Nail? It's, it's a very complicated uh, naming scheme. Spawn coin at. We'll just do this times combo, current score combo, and then increments your current score combo. Plus equals one. Yeah! I think that works, right? So we try it out. Oh, my favorite one. And this one allows you to keep playing past the end of the game if you just spam the button. Look at this. No. 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 <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Pipe pair, so we connected, on body entered. Hmm. So we are connecting to these, right? Or are we am I not did I forget to connect? I forgot to connect. Okay. That makes sense. Pair dot connect. Scored, self, on scored. There we go. So now that should work. Just forgot to hook up the final thing, as is often the case. So. All right, there we go. Oh, so if you go too high, I also kill you? Well, okay, that's not fair. <laughs> that's also not fair. He's done it. Oh, if you go too high, am I killing you? What happened? That shouldn't happen. So if your character is... If your character's Y position is greater than that, huh? That doesn't make any sense. Screen extents Y plus 500. Are you able to go too low? Did I just get this backwards? So you go too low. Oh. If you go too high, I have no idea. I guess something happens. And then also, it's not spawning the coin, as I thought it would. Yep. Huh. Okay, interesting. So how did I do this before with uh, this game? Hammered in, position vector 2. So each nail... Emit signal self dot global position. All right, I mean we can do that too. So self dot global position. I I do wonder why this is just killing you. So this shouldn't uh this shouldn't kill you. Not really sure what's going on with that. You can just clamp the player's position y to a value. Yeah. But that, that's, that's complicated. I was trying to avoid doing that. So yeah, we can, we can definitely do that. Floppy character dot y is equal to, well, it's equal to clamp. Between, wait, so we clamp between Minimum and maximum. Well, it's just uh, the screen extents, right then? Yeah, it's just the screen extents. Screen extents Y. Twice. So 
minus, and then positive. Hello, Gacha Boy. How did the move go? It went all right. It went all right. I'm glad you remembered it, or you're trolling me and you were actually here earlier in the stream where I talked about it. But I'll talk about it anyways. Yeah, it actually was not so bad. Um, because this time I actually had an elevator. So the previous time I moved, I lived on the the fourth floor of a building that didn't have an elevator. So that was pretty painful. Uh, but now, had an elevator for every single move. Actually packed early enough. Okay. Invalid get index Y. Oh, right. Packed early enough so it wasn't painful. All that good stuff. However, I didn't have internet for a week because I forgot to set it up beforehand. <laughs> it took like... It took a while for the repair people to come in. Ooh. Look at that. We all right, cool. All right, let's get out of this. You know, I would have helped. Who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure that your moral support would have been nice. Position Y equals clamp. Position Y min max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I got. That's what I got. And actually, wait, hold on. That's actually not what I want. It should be clamps between this. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, no, never mind. That eh, that makes sense. It should be this kill zone. We'll just, we'll just double the kill zone right there. You know, Rubber Duck, you are a brother to me. Sounds ominous. <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> Who is this person? And how do they know I like to play gacha? No, you don't. I'm just pulling around. That's exactly what someone who knows me in real life would say. Because as we all know, I only know like two people. Boing. So yeah, you can fall pretty far. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, so I'll probably let... This game will go on for a little bit. Who cares? Yeah. See the game? See the name? Gah. I don't, I don't know you, honest. So simple to know. <laughs> it's okay. How can you know me if I don't even know me? Hmm, thinking face. Oh no, that, that's something I'm always kind of like wary of is like, what if someone I know actually like, <laughs> actually stumbles upon the stream and they hear me talk about whatever I talk about. It's, oh no. <laughs> Especially since I do, uh, I do have my real name in my, my thing. Yeah, I, I've kind of doxed myself, and I've like, I still actively like more or less dox myself, right? <laughs> my real name is in my description. I actually found a stream of a classmate I went to school with. See, that's what I'm scared about. It's like, oh man, what if one of my... What if someone I know, man? I already said that, but I'm going to say it again just for emphasis. Alright, you know what? I'm going to... Only because they had the webcam on. Yeah. I suppose my voice does sound a lot better, also, on the mic. I think in real life my voice... Uh, it depends. It depends on what time of day it is. But I'm not sure that you would be able to recognize my voice in real life. Because I think my... The fancy mic I'm using really makes my voice... Sound more attractive, I guess. <laughs> but I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom.
Hello, hello. Please play nice, children. No fighting in the war room. Ex-girlfriends find me on Twitch. I think my exes <laughs> don't care about me. Uh, which is probably, which well, sounds sad, but it's actually a good thing. Because we uh, more or less broke up on amicable terms. Yeah, hello, dead sec. How are you? Two dead loons. Program hello world, I got you. He's done it. Hello quack. Or actually, or are you calling, did you just call me a quack? That's a 24 hour ban permanent. Do I just have Python installed on this machine, by the way? Master programmer. Do I, I guess I don't have Python installed? Oh no, did it freeze? <laughs> what? Get bash, why? I can feel you dying. Get for Windows. Uh, that's not right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Sorry, you, you have broken my machine with your master level request. I don't know what happened there, that was weird. Like, I should be able to do this, right? And then start up the... No? Oh, I guess we're just going to freeze again. All right, I'll let, I'll let it run. <laughs> uh, LSCD check disk. Why, what, what is the check disk command? I'm not familiar. Also, did you just try to chain together LS and CD? <laughs> Without a pipe operator? Or an and? I, yeah, I... CH de disk? I'm not familiar. I don't do... Ooh, geez. Close anyway. Let me see if I can find that <laughs> command and just kill it. That's an I, not an L. Oh, I'm sorry. As you all know, I'm very bad at reading. That's why I'm a programmer. Huh, that's weird. I know not of this Python thing you are thinking of. Well, hold on, we can pivot really quick. I can show you Python. It's my favorite programming, programming language. Do I have any Python stuff? I do have a Python one. Quack, quack. Check it out, we can, we can program Hello World. Uh, vim, test.py. And I'll even do it in vim, how about that? Python test.py. Oh baby, he's done it. Look at that. I suppose I didn't even need to do that. I could just do echo. Print. Didn't even need to use vim, right? We can just do it like that. This is what I do a lot in my day to day. So we'll, com we'll truncate it, so we'll do test pi, and then we can run that again, and that does work. What does pivot mean? Pivot means that we will move on to something completely different. Vim, this is Vim. This editor right here. Very powerful. I really only know how to use the basics, which is like, one, we can search. So we can search for prints. So if I we're to go back to command mode, forward slash print, and we can press N, 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 or press uppercase N to go search backwards. It's very powerful. Then you can press double G, go to the top, capital G, go to the bottom, zero, go to the start of the line, plus sign, go to the end of the line, escape, command mode, Q, exclamation mark to quit, 
with force, aka quit without saving. Let me do RM to stop by. Anyways, we don't need any of that. Back to this. <laughs> Let's see, score. So what I'm thinking on scored, right? So right now, whenever you score a coin, whenever you accrue points, I like Adam. Well, it's it's different uh, editors for different things, right? So I like to use VS Code, if only because everything is now VS Code. Uh, and so it has the most compatibility and it's kind of nice, right? But Vim and Adam are in completely different, I guess, use cases. So if you are doing a lot of programming or you need to edit files inside of a terminal, then Vim is probably one of your best choices. I suppose Ed is also an okay one. I believe Ed and Vim are installed by default on a lot of machines. Uh, Emacs is not commonly installed on you know, fresh install boxes, especially if you're like just spinning up random servers. Anyways, the thing that I was talking about earlier is that right now, regardless of what your combo is, you still only ever get one coin pop up. So what I'm thinking is, whenever you, I guess up to like a max of like five coins, I guess that'll be your max combo. I'll like do like a rapid fire spawning of da 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 da. -da. Da, 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 coins, right? What is Adam? It's an editor for programming. Is this Floppy Bird? I get it. Ha <laughs> Way ahead of you, because that's what, that's, that's what, that's kind of what the, the joke was. It's Floppy Disk, haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> floppy Disk, Flappy Bird. I'm sorry. We've already come up with a joke. You're late to the party. Don't show up to the lecture three hours late. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. So, Corn Scar combo. So what we want... Uh, actually, right, so your current Scar combo will just be reset to 1 anyways, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so tear down game. Let's... Reset, so reset, position, reset, eh, yeah, don't need a comment for that, it's obvious what it is. So current, score combo, reset to 1, and then 4i, i in <laughs> current score combo, and this is shorthand for for I in range current score combo. All right, well, be easy. I is out of here. See you later. Thanks for tuning into the stream. Always fun talking. Your assistance, which was much helpful with the audio issues, Jackal Gamer. See you later. What's for dinner? Uh, uh, a fifth of bourbon and some spicy chickpeas. <laughs> no, I've already eaten today, so I don't. I really only eat one meal a day, so nothing really for dinner. Except I wasn't joking about the fifth of bourbon, but <laughs> actually, how much is a fifth? So I, I have I poured myself some bourbon, but I. Not really sure how much it is. I know it's a roughly equivalent to about four drinks. Well, maybe three drinks. And then after that, I just go to sleep. <laughs> after brushing my teeth and flossing. But yeah. What did you have for dinner? I know that somebody was talking about their dinner earlier in chat. A cup of noodles oh baby cup noodles is it like is it cup noodle brand cup noodles or is it uh fancier than that and <laughs> crying into a cup for dessert 
Well, you know what they say. Uh, the saltier the tears, the sweeter the payoff, the victory. I feel like I almost said something cool there right off the top of the dome piece, but <laughs> messed it up at the last second. <laughs> the saltier the tears, the sweeter the, the reward. Right, because you said yeah, you're crying, but you're also eating, and then you mentioned dessert. Oh baby, it was a multi-layered uh, wordplay. Almost went full poet. Almost. You know, it's 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 tough being this good, but I have to limit myself sometimes. I don't want to drive everyone away by being too good at the the puns. All right, so we'll do. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, but Nice Neeson Neeson is good. Uh, Neeson is good though. Good noodles. I don't really eat their cup noodles too often though. How do you do? You like the new place, and can you hack Roblox? Uh, so I'll answer that in reverse order. For a price, <laughs> yes, we can we can look into it. Uh. And the new place is pretty sick, pretty sick. It's on it's on a high floor in a uh, big condo building. So, you know. Pretty neat. Big fan, etc., etc. So we want to yield. Timeout. There, there we go. But it's not it's not the highest. I'm I'm still wedged, you know, between some people. I did have to replace the uh, the thermostat since actually I found out that this building was one of the first buildings to have a smart thermostat. And it was a first generation for smart thermostat before Nest came out. So it was really cool at the time, but the company went defunct, and so their servers went down, and now I was unable to change my, my thermostat. <laughs> and so the the previous owner, you know, very American, I don't understand actually, is like a lot of Americans like to turn up their therm- or they like to turn down their thermostat, and like blow AC when they're sleeping at night. Which just absolutely blows my mind. Ooh. Ooh. Oh jeez. Oh god. Whoa. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I like that. This is nice. <laughs> hey Thomas. Tim lives in space. Oh jeez. But no, I don't I don't live in space, sorry. But I also do not have a skylight. I do know Lua Lua. Uh, just regular Lua, not Lua Lua. Kind of stumbled there since I'm kind of trying to play Flappy Bird and reach out at the same time. But hey, Thomas. Did you know the NSA are watching me through my camera? Yeah, probably. It's okay. Oh, jeez. All right, so that's okay. We're just hard coding a bunch of stuff now. <laughs> but yeah, I know Lua. I think actually Love 2D was the first uh, was the first framework I ever used. It was the first thing I ever used to make video games, and my games were horrible since I had no idea what I was doing. That's broken. Uh, no, you. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. Right, because you'll never be able to accrue enough time in order for it to be very broken. What GUI am I using? What do you mean, what GUI am I using? You mean this one? I wrote this GUI. If that's, if that's what you were talking about, I wrote this. It's pretty neat. If you're talking about this, I also wrote this. Also pretty neat. And both those tools are available on GitHub for free under a permissive license. I think 
the, the face tracker is available under MIT license. So, and then the, the streaming tool is available under Apache 2, which is just like MIT, except uh, grants me patent protections. You wrote it? Oh yeah, yeah. I wrote pretty much everything, yeah. That's the fun part about, you know, being a programmer. MIT? Yeah, MIT license. So the MIT is a very permissive license. It doesn't grant you, grants no warranty, uh, but it does grant you permission to use and sell the code if you want. There we go. This is my favorite tune. Oh, baby. Well, you know what is that these tunes are available on SoundCloud, which you can find in my description. Yeah, what is this one called? This one's Breathe Slowly? Yeah. Since I went for a, a heartbeat kind of thing. So we got 15 coins, and now we can just gamble on this <laughs> pretty janky looking uh, gacha machine. Coins to spend, look at that. It makes no difference. And then, ta-da! I have a favorite on SoundCloud. Do you actually? Let's out you and actually check. I've, I have not checked my SoundCloud in a while. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, you know what? This is true. You actually did. How neat. Get outed. <laughs> Will this be playable? Uh, so this game is playable. It is just available on GitHub, I think. Is it? What, what did I call it? W... Oh, actually, uh, is it not? Hold on. Let me find it. We can find it. CD, CD dev. Mm. Oh, it's uh, yeah, it's available under... Don't have, I thought we were boys. Da boys. Yeah, so you can find the repository for this game that I'm working on here. Available under Apache 2. Who are you making it for? I'm making it for myself. I don't know. Like, I, I just make games because I, I find it fun, more or less. Where's the error? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I, I make games because I uh, I find them fun to make. I don't really make games with the expectation that I will be making money off them. Yeah, but the, the code is on GitHub if you would like to run it. You would do you need to get uh, you need do you need to download the Godot engine and load the project into there because it's not done yet. So I don't I don't have any other things on it. Wait. No, that's not what I wanted to say. The game isn't done yet, so I don't provide any releases, yes. Yeah, this game is cool, I hope you do more to it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hot dog. Hamburger. Is a hot dog a... Is a hot dog a sandwich, by the way? Don't at me. Yeah, I think this game is more or less done. Yeah, look at that. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah, now we can move on to the next game. Hot dog. Yes, hot dog is a sandwich. I, I think there is, like, there's a website that someone created that's like the... It goes through all the possible permutations for is a hot dog a sandwich. But... Hello. Yes. I, I have been pinged in chat. I, I do not understand why, though. Hello. Or is this like a ping on my Discord? <laughs> Maybe not. Also, I have a Discord if you would like to keep up to date on whatever projects I happen to be working on there. What is the next minigame? I'm thinking probably... Hmm, 
So the idea here is that the, the interface is mobile friendly for the most part. So I don't know, probably just like a dodge, <laughs> dodge the stuff while collecting coins kind of game. We can, we can actually start working on that now. Yeah, because I, I think it might be nice and, yeah, to start working on something that works on mobile. Probably won't provide any mobile builds, but you can, you know, access the game as a web app and then load it on your phone. Team you win is a play on your name. <laughs> Took me a while. <laughs> it's a pun. Get it? Dodge the beans? Yeah, okay, we can do dodge the beans. Why not? Let's do new folder. Dodge the beans. And so, let's create a new thing. Call this dodge the beans. Save. I don't know, dodge the beans. Dodge, doge the beans, dodge the beans. So dodge the beans and then you also just need to collect, I don't know, some sort of scoring mechanism in order to accrue more points, right? So the way I like to approach this kind of design, right? Is like in WarioWare, you have to wait until the time is over in order to, you know, move on to the next game, right? However, since the point of this game is to accrue cash in order to feel your gambling addiction, right? So you, there's still a time limit. However, you don't just run out of things to do. You will instead... Uh, just have the opportunity to get more and more coins, the better you are. Mm. If beans in bacon and print, no. Uh, I guess. I mean, if beans is... I don't know. I guess if you're, if you're doing a check for it, if an object... If an object beans is in an array called bacons... Then yeah, it is technically a valid Python. That's that's the nice thing about Python as well, is that Python more or less reads like English. That's why I like GD script. 2021 messages, oh wow, oh baby. Clip it. Clip it and then also use stats. Look at that. How many kills are there? 569. <laughs> so this this little dude in the, the bottom left hand corner has more or less punched the mushroom to death 500 something times. How nice. How wholesome. Alright, so... Oh, my back. Turning into an old man. More so than I have been before. Okay, so floppy disk. Yeah, okay, this is easy. Just add a background. Okay, so this is still a long standing bug where you. If, control A is used for multiple things, but if you last had focus in like something else and then you press Control A here, it still presses Control A on whatever you last had focus on. So, slightly annoying. Oh, you actually clipped it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, DeadSec. Appreciated. This game is made in your honor. Applejuice.com. Alright, banned. Permanently. Everyone knows orange juice is superior. Alright, so... Transform, let's just scale it up by two. Eh, let's just scale it up by three. Credit me for the game name, okay. I'll credit you in the file. 
Actually, we can get, we can credit you here. So we go to mini games. What do we have? dodge the beans? Or actually, no, we'll we'll do. Well, one touch readme dot markdown, touch, I guess credits dot markdown. All right, so, so, credits, dodge, the bean, name, courtesy of, dad sect lol on, Twitch, dot TV. He's done it. Congratulations. Touch. <laughs> Touch? That's a weird one. Well, wait until you hear about kill. <laughs> Which is also another very often used command. Generally used for... Uh, ending a process. You usually want to do something like kill, sig, term process ID, which sends a terminate signal. To a process so that it can shut itself down, but you can always hit it with a kill sig kill process ID in order to end the process immediately. How does it kill the process? It sends a signal. So each process, uh, so Linux and Mac, I think kill works almost the same way. Windows has its own thing, but it's all done via various low level sys calls. Very exciting stuff. Fun fact, actually, git bash on Windows does not have access to raw Windows sys calls. Something I learned at work. Just uh, because Windows is kind of doo doo. And the syscall layer is just all over the place. Or I, I actually, I, I just don't think it has access. <laughs> so very strange. Is that good or bad? It's, it's simultaneously good and bad. So I think it's good that random programs do not have access to your system's just raw syscalls. So a syscall is syscall, like system. Uh -huh. Sys call. Not that you're going to be calling your sister, although if you're into that, uh, roll tide. But if you are not very technical, or if you're just, you know, you're in the business of downloading random things you find off the internet and then immediately running them, then yeah, it's good that those programs do not have access, right? Because you can do some serious damage to your system with just <laughs> intercepting syscalls. However, if you know what you're doing, then it's very annoying that you don't have access from here. So to answer your question, it depends. Like how much, how much can the user be trusted? <laughs> That's why I wish a lot more operating systems had like a, you know, developer mode. Like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Please let me break my system. Because I usually know what I'm doing. So therefore, you should let me break it if I want. So let me see. Let's draw a bean, I guess. What what do beans look like? Uh, also, what is the general image size I've been using for everything else? Ignore this. I was looking into redoing one of my uh, older games. So, only the OGs will recognize it. It's deployment strategy. The original game I started streaming on, or streaming development of, but then realized, like, it's just too hard to do. So this is 800... Yeah, it's roughly... It's roughly... F yeah, it's 400 by 400. Okay. 400 by 400. So let's see, let's do brush width, eh, call it 11. What's a beans look like? It's like a, 
No. Almost. Yeah. That's more or less a bean. Maybe a bit too wide in the tooth there. Looking more like a peanut now. He's done it. <laughs> Just free handing this with the mouse. It's a little more difficult than it looks. I am Bean. Is this, is this like a I love lamp kind of thing? Or is this like a Mr. Bean reference? You know what? I'm, can we ask? I've seen a few Mr. Bean, uh, I guess just related media. Gotta tell you, not a fan of Mr. Bean. It's very cringe, not very based. That's for sure. Yeah. Just kind of get the edges like this. I actually do have access to a drawing tablet, but it's not connected to my PC. It's actually connected to a Mac, <laughs> of all things. I love butter, toffee, peanuts. Oh baby. My bean. Your bean. Stop talking about your bean. It's very lewd. <laughs> something something flick the bean. Oh, I have a Hui on, yeah. Very nice, you seem to be well informed. I have a Hui on, I think it's a, it's a 12 inch tablet, so it's not very big, but it was also pretty cheap. Let me see if I can find it on my other computer here, so I don't have to go into other screen and just hope I don't dox myself. Or like dox my address. <laughs> that's, that's something I would really rather not expose. Let me see. It's a Huion Canvas Pro 13. So I'm not sure what that is, but it's like 13 inches. Dox yourself. Uh, I mean, already done. <laughs> I'm not sure what else you want me to do. So give it a little bean shine here. Uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then let's grab this, make it darker. Crunch the opacity. Make this big. Hold on. No, uh, maybe probably just like that, right? Something like this. And then... No, that looks really weird. Let's give it a shine like that. Fox, you're so big willy, you must be well off. The, the tablet I have isn't really that expensive <laughs> oh uh, that might be a sign of how well off I am yeah it was only 300 bucks toot 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 yeah I think this is what I'm gonna go with I'm a broke boy girl it will is this what beans look like I don't know. I got nothing. We're gonna go with this. Let's delete the background. Save this as mini games. Dodge the beans. 
So that's like the one bean. So assets. Have the screenless one, it was like 50 bucks. Oh, okay, yeah. You have like the drawing tablet, drawing tablet thing. I gotcha. Call it bean one. With the assumption I'll probably add other beans. 1% opacity my name? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Look at that. Yeah, I use. I think I I had a Wacom bamboo way back in the day that I got for like thirty bucks. But now, I mean, I make I make okay cash at my new job, or I say a new job, but current job. <laughs> you know, kind of hit a brick wall. That's okay since I <laughs> the workload is manageable, and of course I'm. Always gonna say it's manageable, even if it's uh, really easy or really hard. You know, sometimes it's not good to be the squeaky wheel. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we'll do. Ha ha ha. We'll make this an area 2D with a collision shape, and then add a sprite as well. So this is just gonna be. We'll call this bean one. No, not like that. Bean one. Please, bean one. That's good, you treat yourself as a nice upgrade. I'm more used to screen tablets than normal drawing ones. But I'm getting used to it, I guess. That's fair enough. Yeah. I think, I, I wish I was good at drawing. That's one of the things I wish I was, or <laughs> me as a kid wishes I was good at. Like I, I kind of get I get the idea of drawing, right? So if we're going to go back to here, right? So I think learning the basics was really helpful for me, but you know, you use something like, you know, draw a circle, draw the chin, something like that. And then just remember to do, ugh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then that's your person, right? Then draw the eyes. I guess you can't really see it anymore. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I tried to laugh, breathe in, and like swallow at the same time. Yeah, the fundamentals. Yeah, that's exactly what I have. Or that's what that's what I wish I learned more of. It's like, it, it. oh god, look at that shin. <laughs> so I, I don't know. You got the anime eyes going on though, which is nice. Just kind of. And then you know. Eh, eh, eh. Hair is the hardest part. <laughs> you hooked into our eardrums reported, please no. How do you do cloud hair? Cloud is like a... It's like, that's like a Goku, right? You can kind of see it. And then, you know, gotta hit it with a... <laughs> I'll squeeze you and quack. That sounds extraordinarily lewd. I'm into it. Here, you just make a cap shape over the skull. See, that's pretty good. It's anatomi anatomically correct up until you get to the anywhere below the neck. Look at that. He's beautiful. Yeah, no, I, I, I've actually been somewhat doing like pose drawing practice where you do you try to find the the kind of line of action, right? So it's like, so that's your first line. So spine to your one of your legs, and then something like that, and then you just kind of fill in the joints. Knee, something like that. Gesture drawing, yeah. 
Your lewd toot. <laughs> Some people are into lewd toots. <laughs> they pay other people for it. I hate gesture drawing with my heart and soul, but it's needed. Yeah. Uh. I think it's it's helpful if you don't know what you're doing, which is like me. I'm I'm not good at drawing, but I wish I was. Anyways, this is the bean. We'll load in the asset. So we go to mini games. Dodge the beans. Bean one. It's huge. Save bean one. Bean one. So entities. Save it like that, and there we go. Have the collision shape, let's scale it up. Eh, something like that. Move the bean like this, so it's a bit more centered. And then also reduce the size of the collision shape, just like that, so you do have a bit more leeway when dodging. But yeah, gesture drawing, I, the way I've heard it, and I, I think it makes sense to me, is like... Like you, you... No matter what your style is in drawing, and also like in pretty much anything else, right? You know, programming or music or whatever. Like you need to know what the fundamentals are before you can start like breaking all the rules and really developing out your own style. Otherwise, like, you better hope that you are... <laughs> you, you have like a really good style. Right. Like, isn't it like uh, Pablo Picasso? I've, I've heard this story and I have read that it's true, but I have never personally verified it. But like Pablo Picasso is just like a, like in terms of just like regular art, he's like also like very competent, right? Like, isn't like Pablo Picasso's earlier works are actually like, they're still pretty good and they don't look anything like his later works. But Picasso started out like just doing like regular, you know, classical art or something like that. That's not the right term. And it's only later he started branching off into like Weirdo Land. Yeah, especially studying animation. Ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad. Anything graphical, I'm kind of bad at. 3D, I can kind of do 3D, but. I don't know. What 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 should the I guess the player icon be? I'm not gonna make it this dude. So player icon, let's just make it. He spent a life trying to draw like a child. Yeah. I think I've seen that. I've seen that somewhere before. Just draw a circle. Just draw a circle. Just draw a circle. <laughs> Just hit it with an ubu face. Uh, Among Us. It's really hard to unlearn the fundamentals completely. Partially is easy. Yeah. Well. I think that there is some. I think there's uh, the there is some magic in how a, a child captures, you know, imagery as well. I think that's also kind of it. Like, I, if you if you were to ask a child how to describe something complex, they'll give you like some completely like weirdo answer. But it's like, oh, you know, I've never really thought about it like that. Beautiful. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to erase <laughs> the other bits. That's it. That's the picture we're going with. <laughs> it's beautiful. Save. Ooh. -woo. Cute. <laughs> Child iconography is interesting. Uh, so please stay where you are, Anwa. The pol 
internet police are on their way. <laughs> Taken out of context. <laughs> Taken out of context. That <laughs> sentence right there is a little sus, not gonna lie. So let's, let's do area 2D, sprites, oh, and also we need a collision shape, collision polygon, collision shape. Iconography is like, <laughs> an eye like sticker. All I'm saying, man, all I'm saying, it's a little sus. You sussy baka. Etc. Etc. Right, mini games. Uh, assets. There's our Ulu face. There we go. It's pretty good. <laughs> Ulu. Well, let's not actually call it Ulu. Let's call it uh, player. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is that scrolling across this screen? <laughs> Find the missing one, oh so. Yeah, well, I'll have you know that I actually don't see anything that's being scrolled across the screen here. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, it broke. <laughs> this, part of, this bottom part broke, that's nice. But yeah, I actually don't see this overlay in real time. Yeah. Do you play any games? Uh, I mostly just play console games. Like I'm, I'm playing through YS9, pronounced YS9. But I mean, I play Genshin Impact because I'm a just absolute degenerate who cannot stop themselves from gambling. But you know. I think Genshin Impact, it's like, it's, it's in the category of games that I really, really like to play. AKA just like, it's a walking simulator, but with like, more to do. <laughs> like Breath of the Wild, one of my favorite games. Guild Wars 2, my favorite MMO. Uh, Genshin Impact is just Breath of the Wild, but with like, gacha built in. Like whenever Breath of the Wild 2 releases, I'm probably going to be playing that. Like, I, I like that kind of category of games. So better than DayZ. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like DayZ. Not a huge fan of multiplayer games. I think if DayZ was, like, more single-player focused, I'd be into it. But... No, I don't, I don't really like to play multiplayer games anymore. I think I'm kind of over that stage in my life. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like I, multiplayer games, not a huge fan. Even like competitive games, if it's one on one, I'll play it. Like I, I like to play. Or I got really into Super Smash Brothers Melee. You know, played Fox. Uh, I think the most technical stuff I could do, I could, I could just multi shine on command. I could do, I could do three shines in a row, pretty much on command. Uh. And also, like, really messed up my thumbs. But yeah. This is not how you spell bean. So preload this thing. So bean one. And so... Finding game is broken. Yeah, it's broken, but, like, it broken in a good way. Although, I don't play it anymore. I think I would like to play another game like that. Like, I, I played Rivals of Aether before. That's a lot of fun. Hydrate. Alright, let's hydrate. Let's hydrate with something else that isn't bourbon. Bourbon? I feel like I always pronounce bourbon wrong.
you know? In the same way, like, I for a while I used to pronounce salmon as salmon, with the L. <laughs> and, uh, relics of Aether. Rivals of Aether. Rivals of Aether is fun, man. Alright, let's see. How do I want to do it? So, what I, I I think I want the player to, like, I don't want the player to be right on top of your mouse. I want the player to be a, on a slight delay behind your mouse. Woo, back, how's it going? Oh, so check it out. Welcome back, Knock. So one, I have broken my overlay. <laughs> so this is now super broken. I don't know how to fix it. Probably do something like this really fast. Maybe not. No. Yeah, I have no idea. So everything still displays more or less correctly. I just <laughs> don't know how what happened to the bottom left thing. So check it out. We have this. Ding. 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 Ding, ding, something like that. So th the game is more or less done. It does need to have more time added to it. So let me, let me do that. Now I'm thinking about it. Or actually, we should just do a spawn pipe immediately. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, now I'm working on a new one, which is just called Dodge the Bean. You have your character here, uwu face, very messily colored uwu face, uh, and then you just try to dodge the beans. Amazing, while collecting coins or something. I'm not sure what exactly you'll want to be collecting, but that's the. Shouldn't the spawn be at the bottom? Oh, what do you mean the spawn? Oh, the coins? Oh yeah, yeah, probably yeah. The coins probably should probably be at the bottom, but we'll fix that later. <laughs> I'm kind of over it for now. Gave me the bean. Please stop talking about your bean. <laughs> Dead sec. It's it's making everyone uncomfortable. Spawn pipe call in the code. What do you mean? Spawn pipe. Yes. So the way... Hmm. Ah, maybe? Is that a hollow live reference? Inside in knit. So what, what are you... What are you talking about, by the way? The spawn? Spawn pipe call. Shouldn't it be at the bottom? Why? Oh, this one right here. It doesn't make a difference, right? They all run on the same frame. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Because th this pipe isn't connected to anything else. So it doesn't matter where I put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see. Yeah, you're, you're talking about this. Yeah. I don't think it matters, right? We can, we can test it. But... Since everything runs on the same frame and there's no other dependencies, all all this means is that it just immediately hits you with a pipe. <laughs> yeah, no, all, all it means is that you just immediately get hit with a pipe, which is fine with me. I assumed it was. Well, you know what they say about assuming. It means that you're into... Really tired expressions. I thought the pipe position depended on player position. No, not really. It's... They're independent. Which is nice. I think something that I'm still actually a little confused about is... Uh, how I should be handling position versus global position. Considering that I think one of the mechanics... I'm thinking about doing is, uh, you know, multipliers, so you can add uh, detriments to your gameplay 
to your minigame gameplay in exchange for coin modifiers. So, of course, the one of them is like, you know, like a Mario Kart-esque blooper system where you just have, you know, things fly at your screen that kind of obstructs your vision for a little bit. Um, and then another thing would probably be like adjusting this viewport's stretch ratio. So the, the game becomes more pixelated, so it becomes harder to see occasionally. So I think those would be fun modifiers to have in order to enhance how many coins you get. So you increase the risk, but also increase the reward. Oh baby. It means that you're into to butt stuff. Ooh woo. Hey man. That that is the trend nowadays to be into uh into that stuff. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't really get the, the appeal, but more power to you, I guess. As long as you don't drag me into it. And we're all good. Alright, so... Let me see. You're an ass man. <laughs> Actually, you should add a top down shooter mini game. Uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, there's, since all these games are so simple, right? It's uh, not too bad. Although, I think the. The one limitation to what kind of mini games I can add uh, is going to have to be. Um, I, I want each mini game to be played via just one command, more or less. So that it's kind of easy to port to mobile, or at least run on the web, which can then be played on your phone. So, if I can think of a good way of doing it, then I'll add it. Ooh, it's... he's a big lad. It's a big lad. Let's see... transform, scale it by half. He's a smaller lad. Uh, that's the restriction. Make it top-down shoot with just one button. <laughs> I, you know, I could make it like a... like a... Galaga? Where it just auto shoots. That might be kind of fun. Might be kind of fun. You spin at place and have to shoot at the proper time. Oh, that's also not bad. Although it sounds somewhat difficult as well. <laughs> Rail shooter Galaga, maybe. There's a few. There's a few things you could do there. There's a few things you could do there. Let me see. First, we need to do. Let's finish this one. I think this one would be pretty easy. The only thing about it would be the the player tracks your your cursor at a delayed rate, I suppose. Arivar player. Some sort of area 2D is equal to player. Or actually we can do How do I hide your mouse? Do hide mouse. Okay, we can just do this. And then on exit tree, we do input set mouse mode, input mouse visible, like that. All right, and then we just kind of grab the other stuff here. So dodge the beans, flick the bean, etc., etc. Have you, hey, have you used Erlang Elixir? I'm considering learning. I've tried it before, but it's, it's a huge learning curve, from what I can tell. So like, I I don't know. I I think. I was, I, is it called Phoenix? Is that what I was using? 
What is it? Is it is it called Phoenix? Phoenix Elixir. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tried using this framework before, but I just could not figure it out. Probably because I had a very poor handle on how to use Elixir. I don't know, the, the programming style is very different. <laughs> I, I had trouble. So, like, I've used it before, and I think it was kind of neat how you can just kind of plug things in, and I guess they more or less kind of work. But that's the that's the thing that kind of mystified me, is like, why is this working? <laughs> Actors? Yeah, I don't really know. That's beyond me. So, I would like to learn more, however... I have other things I would rather do. How do you just get the mouse local position? Now, yeah, super curious since it's so different. It's a... I don't know. I think the, the big thing that you would need to do is like... First have a good handle on how to actually write regular elixir code. Before you jump straight into a framework like I did. <laughs> and then just get super, super confused and then super frustrated. I think also another thing was, I think I actually ran it on Replit, which also made it somewhat difficult. I think, isn't Elixir? Yeah, Elixir's on here, <laughs> which is where I tried it. Not a, not a Replit shill, by the way. Stop using Replit then. I like using Replit. I like being able to just spin up a new container and just be able to do stuff with internet access as well. You're definitely a replica shell, yeah. They should be paying me, man. Alright, so let's try this. Dodge the beans. We'll grab the path, go to minigame manager, add this. Dodge the beans. But yeah, use my coupon code in my description below and get 30% off your first Replit subscription. Anyways, actually, I don't have a coupon code, but they should definitely pay me though. <laughs> I would consider it. Like, they did have that bad press, but they do have a good service. <laughs> head to a meeting, that's fair. I'm almost done anyways. See you later, Nock. Thanks for tuning in. Always good having you around. <sighs> Alright, let's try this out just to make sure it works. Not this one. I know this works. Oh, that's weird how everything else is so far away. Then this one I know works. This one doesn't randomize the position of the nails at all. Yeah, look at that. It works. Okay. Neat. Okay. So that's all good. Let's push everything to master. Hit add all. Commit. Uh, finish, floppy disk, floppy fisk, floppy disk minigame, start work on dodge the beans, push, and yeah, there we go, sent it, anyways, it's 11pm where I am, so probably gonna call it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be live tomorrow from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time, working on probably this again. Having a lot of fun working on this. Uh, yeah. Check me out then. Peep the socials, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter even though I don't tweet. Uh, get my stuff. 
stars on GitHub, since that's what I'm doing this for. Uh, I will see you later.